Welcome to a Dungeon Adventure by Opie Monster. Journey into a long-forgotten city where cunning and guile will aid your survival. Find hidden treasures, slay foul beasts, rescue a forgotten race. Uncover secrets that not even the most knowledgeable know of. Secrets which will unleash the magic and mysticism in this forgotten place. This is like a War Chasers style map for Warcraft 3 RPG adventure for a team of six. We're going to take a look at each of the heroes. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing here to make sure. Because you've got to restart the map every time you check one. Here is the Flame Seeker, the Archer. Got Chaos Damage, which is very nice. She has Hide. Fan of Knives, Searing Arrows, True Shot, Aura, and Tranquility. Nice long range attack. Here we have Doral Mage Font, the Carbuncle Crab. Ranged 300. He has Cleave, which is super nice. But there's one slight problem. If you burrow... And then unburrow, he no longer has access to his abilities. So that's great. If you pick an ability, it might be different, but I'll choose an ability actually with this crab and then see if that changes anything. Maybe that saves him. No. Nope. Have the ghost. He's Ghost, the Ghost. He has Healing Ward as a default. Chain Lightning, Feral Spirit, Unholy Aura, and Animate Dead. Pretty mediocre support slash spell damager. Now we have Naze, the Eternal. The Witch. Spell Immunity is super useful. He's got Unholy Frenzy, I assume. Impale, Serpent Ward. This spawns three Serpent Wards at a time, which is nice. And Vengeance as his ultimate. He's immune to magic, so he can't cast it himself, but he can support other people, so there was always that. So, pretty useful support, but maybe not that fun to play. Now we have Chain. Chain is chaos damage, fast attacking marine with Bundy the Wolf. He has Roar and Crit. He also has Evasion, Battle Roar, Finger of Death, and Life Drain. So he's a pretty amazing character, this one. Here we have Farul, the character I'm almost definitely going to be playing. The Ninja. He has burning oil, so Ninja puts hot oil on his sword and then he kicks ass, so we don't know exactly what that means, but he's got a wind walk, mirror image, critical strike, which goes to six times damage and blade storm. I think wind walk and critical strike are going to be severely broken in this situation, especially an OP monster map. Why does he always play the blade master, you ask? Well, sometimes there's a good reason for it, and this is going to be no different. We have Granis Darkhammer. Our Arthas character. Four ball blades, so it hits units behind the uh, initial attack. Holy Light, Divine Shield for 60 seconds. Devotion Aura and Locust Swarm. Tor Rune, to uh, Rune Totem, actually known as Marn Thunderhorn, the Warrior. Pulverize, Lightning Shield, War Stomp, Endurance Aura, and Reincarnation. Not a bad hero. Now we have Kallus Wraithsun. This is the Shaman. He has Berserk as a default. That could be useful. Uh, Frost Nova, Bloodlust, Mana Shield, and Starfall. Pretty trash for the most part. Minor support, unless he can get really big damage items. I don't think he's going to pull much weight. We have the Priest. So this guy has Heal, Healing Wave, Frost Armor, Brilliant Aura, Big Bad Voodoo. A lot of support. Just needs a lot of patience to play. Got the Beastmaster. This guy has Vampiric Aura for everyone, 20% um, lifesteal. Summon Bear, Quill Beast, Drunken Brawler, which is six times normal damage. And you'd think that might be the nerfed version, so he's got Stampede as well, where it's like a small percentage chance. But it says 20% chance to deal two times normal damage. It's actually better than the Blade Masters, which is 15% chance. However, he's a strength hero, so Blade Master is going to be better with agility typically. However, that is still really good. Unless you can obviously get over 200 agility and strength, then this guy would pop off. Lastly, we have Deanna Winwood, the Swordsman. He's got Defend, a lot of armor to start off with. These other heroes have like 3 or 2 armor. He's got 13. Attribute Bonus, Bash, which could be really good with fast enough attack speed. Thunderclap, good for controlling mobs, and Avatar makes him spell in the end. So not a bad hero. All right, let's get started. We're going to take our Blade Master. I could kill one of the Wisps, right? Nah, they're invulnerable. All right. We're going to go in and join the adventure. However, we have an ability called Windwalk, right? 
So now I'm going to just have a little look around and see. Should there be anything exciting or ex super good to take? I don't know. Like a tome? It is an OP monster map, so you never know. There's barricades. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any drops from these barricades. So that's no bueno. I can step on there. We're just getting off to a crazy start. I'm not sure if that opened up the door. It did. So there wasn't anything on the left-hand side, so why should there be anything on the right-hand side? We're speed running here. Because my great... Oh my goodness, there's so many mobs. So yeah, anyone that's like a proper spell cast is going to do super well here. I'm pretty low on mana, though. I wonder what the respawn is like. I'm surprised I actually haven't seen anything that I can actually pick up. He's going to use up that Ark, which sells for a lot. I don't think it's going to take. That was fortunate. That was only two hits. I see a fountain over here. But unfortunately, there is a lot of Murlocs. And I don't have enough mana. That's the end of me. Need another five mana to win walk here. So he's going to have to go down. I was actually a little disappointed. This is an OP monster map. I'm totally expecting to see tons and tons of things to pick up. But I've not seen anything. So I've not been rewarded. As yet to be rewarded. Not necessarily. If I can get back, it doesn't matter. But I can't find anything super OP to pick up. So the ninja is not looking strong right now. I'm not completely dead, no. I will be dead soon. These guys aren't going to de-aggro, unfortunately. So, it's going to be the same, similar case. Just needing a little bit more mana. Oh, wow! Would you look at that? I found a something. Nice. We got plus one agility. Alright, okay. We're getting somewhere now. It's about four gold for a kill. We're going to move through this quickly. War chasers can take a really long time. I was really hoping to find some super item or something overpowered, but we have been curious. We have explored. Which it says to explore in the dungeon. But there was no reward. Why would you do a dungeon if there's no reward? Alright, so this was like a dead end. So we can come over to the right side first. Looks like you get a fair bit of levels. So that's not bad. So we're going to start to build up on critical strike as we go through. The shops, probably there's like a shop there on the minimap. It's an interesting pathing. Alrighty, let's keep rolling. Seven gold in the bag. Got really nice attack speed with this guy already, so he's only going to get better. Can you even go down? Is that just the end of the map? Oh, okay. Is it wind walk time again? This is starting to look a bit like a dead end here. What was the command for camera off? It was something like that. There was a tooltip at the start, but one word. Ah, that's better. I have the freedom to move my camera around. You've made it this far. Prepare for round two. Oh. Let's see if there's actually a little bit more to do. 
So we're going to win walk around here and find a bunch of agility tones to pick up. Not quite. I heard a tone there. Oh, not bad. The gold from those mobs was quite good. Ah. We can go up as well. Cloak of Shadows. That's just to hide. Right. These mobs attack him pretty quick, but their damage is super low. Swordsman was once Knight of the Great King. He got a kick out of Night School because he killed everyone. It's fantastic information. Stone form gargoyle. I'm waiting for 400 gold from this last hit. Oh, no, it's a gargoyle. Who would have thought? I can't actually hit air. I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to hit air. Oh, that crit roll looks strong. So, going to need an item to hit air. Oh my gosh, the crit roll is really strong. Wind warp. That's a super strong boy. You need to take a second point in wind walk. Can I kill this without dying? I can't even reach it. So you need to be ranged to reach that. He's got a spike carapace, so he'll actually kill me. Wait for it. Nothing to pick up. Those are some big ghouls. Oh, someone gave me an Ankh. Do you think there's respawn in this or not? Or is it like permadeath? Mirror image can get me into places as well, so that's pretty useful to have one point in. Oh, there's an item. Steven. I can actually maybe get those. Not easy though, judging by the path in there. I think you'd have to be pretty fortunate. You have to go like this, and then mirror image from there to there. But I'm already out of mana now, so I guess we won't try that too much more. Gave it a go. Level 2 wind walks a lot better. Move much quicker now than level 1. Of greater healing, sure. We'll go up this way and investigate. There's a bunch more ghouls. They're really tough, though. Not bad gold. I see some barrels. Oh! I don't have enough mana to go around. What's that over there? What is this? Where's my mana? Regen scroll. Not much cop there, is it? Oh, Helmet Bell first. Now that has some potential. We're all in queue here. The Ghoul Experimental. He's pretty strong there. I'm so close to having a win walk available. It's gonna only be. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> yeesh. Finally, my hero is coming through. I didn't quite get one other item that I was after, which was the Claws of Attack plus 15. But we got Helmet Battle first and the Mask of Death. Two arcs. We're getting somewhere now. Not 
need a shop to sell some stuff. I've got a full inventory, guys. Ah. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you've enjoyed watching the video so far and want to see some more jank. Off we go. I have a bit more... Su uh, thank you very much there for the sub. Woo woo. Thank you for supporting the channel. I have a bit more self-sustain hey, now. How are you doing tonight? I am doing well, thank you. This is where you can make some money if you've got AoE damage as a hero, like cleave and such. I see a strength zone there. Use that. Overclock just take everything anyway. I don't know if we should just take everything because Overclock's just taking anything regardless of what it is. I assume you avoid these, but at the moment I haven't been punished because Windwalk is strong. So, puzzle has been defeated. That's teleporting me over here. There's ghouls over there. There's a pig. That's quite a bit better now, isn't it? With the Mask of Death and the Helm of Battle first. Mine Staff increases mana. Probably sells for a bit. TK overclocked. I reckon overclock can maybe kill me. Time of power. Oh man, I shouldn't have let that go. I didn't think that was so important, that one. Oh well, I got those at least. Another point of wind warp. Keep going fast. Can't quite pick those things up. I think it's easy just to run past. So there's the door here. What's behind the door? Hero. Can I take the hero? Get the loot before everyone else does. <laughs> These guys are going to block the way, so it's between me and the boss now. This is every man for himself. Keep going. We've almost got the right body block. Uh, kind of trash, to be honest. Not impressed. I'm not seeing a shop nearby, so... Oh! A dead end! Where to now? Where to now? The Shaman and the Witch are good buffer heroes. Who are you guys? Beat your maker. Arg, arg. Ah. Somebody help. Looks like they won, and now we're trapped. Hey, I did it, boys. See you later. <laughs> Skill wins. You guys, uh, you just chilling now. I'll see if I can find a way out for us. Just completely break this map. Oh my god, I haven't got this ready. That's a trap. There's nowhere to go. This is like, um, Duriel. Yeah, that's the problem. I guess I just fight in the corner and hope for the best. Oh, Nani. It's taking me over here now. It's a bit of a trip this is now. Need a bit of mana to keep up the wind walk, don't we? Otherwise we lose the pace. Good shit. What the? I shall save the... Being attacked by mini boats. By the way, in case you was wondering why we like speeding like this, it's because the map is jank. 
and um, OP Monster would intend it to be played this way. Is he kind of on my side or against me? How curious. Ooh. So he's got two spells, Chain Lightning and a Death Coil, and they both seem to do about 400 to 500 damage each. Ooh, boy. That's, and he's got a really short cooldown on him as well. Enjoy that with all the mana he's got. I think he's a bit strong for us at the moment. Oh, actually, maybe not. His health is going down. He's got limited health. He's just got a lot of mana. I really don't feel like I can attack him. As soon as I do, he's just going to insta-give. There it is, boys. Got the experience. And the crown of kings. Oh, hello. Secret passage. These are friendly. Secret passage of books. Time of power... Raise dead. Hey, good day to ye. I see you found our lair. The Death Knight spoke of your presence. Please browse our wares. We will explain more in five minutes. Uh, I am yours. So that... I'm not seeing anything too exciting. This one's already really strong. Pure immunity to magic. That's crazy good. Everything else is kind of good in my inventory, but if I was going to get rid of something just so I can pick something up later, it would be that item. Crown of Kings maybe after that. No, well, there's a tome, but yeah. Look at the dead. I think you just leave it at that. I probably can't be healed, though, with the Necklace of Spell Immunity. I'm not 100% sure. Time until mission. We've got three minutes left. It is Woodle Woo. How do you see that, then? Oh, that. That was because of the Croyville thing. I accept £300 requests, yes. I guess we play the waiting game, or maybe we try to bust out. Maybe not. Yes, Lord. Oh. That's a slyer. Uh, higher platform, don't think there's anything there. Yes, Lord. It's a joke, really, Woodle. Uh, Abomination is a shop, actually, you're correct. Searing Blade. Ooh, that is not bad. But could there be something even better than that? This is what we've got to ask ourselves the question. Do we want to put our money into that? You can get the Mask of Death now. Healing Pack. It'd be nice if the Ark's stacked, but it doesn't. It takes up an inventory space. Searing Blade has been yoinked now. Mega Murloc's key. No one wants that in their inventory because they want their inventory full of items otherwise. I guess I'll just take that. Because I'm going to end up dropping this anyway or just sell it. These people have been kind to us. Why are you killing them? Searing Blade is back. It's not the kind of splash that you think it is. That's a fire orb splash. If it was proper cleave splash, I'd be way more interested. I've already got like a crit. It gives experience, does it? Oh, kill them all. No, it doesn't. You're just murdering them. 
It's going to teleport us to the next area, so if no one wants this, just pick it up and sell it, probably. For a bit more cash. Or just use and abuse it. You could have picked that up, Steely. I didn't know you had spare inventory space. I'd advise buying the Mask of Death, though. If you haven't already bought it, I think most people bought it. I'll buy one for you, Steely. I'm a nice guy. Holy crap. Crits can work on allied heroes. Nice to see the heal still worked on me. Off we go, boys. Take these ships. What if I destroy all the other ships? I'm off. I'm sailing. Not so friendly seas, though. Uh-oh. This is going to be a one-way trip, so you're going to have to just go hard and fast here. Wherever I'm supposed to go. Uh, we're getting there. The Rubian Tower is slow. That's fun. you got to go through here, I think. Ooh, is that a body block? That looks like a body block to me. No. Yes. Mm, yes, it is. Oof, that one little guy there. He's about to ruin my day. Gonna have to go this way around. I think we can still make it. Please don't body block me. Oh. There's got to be a shore in a moment. Surely. Wait, maybe not actually. Look at the minimap. There's loads to go. Health regen on the boat seems good though. This is nice and safe. We're just cruising now. What's going on with the daytime? This is like to represent how long we've been here. That's a big lad. That's what I was looking for at the start. But there wasn't any of that business. He's 
getting those 12.30 crits. 14.30, I've got like 128, 129. I've got some leveling up on that today. I mean, I could probably mirror image through there, but I'll save that. Looks like we're doing boss stuff. times. the grab played it earlier it's jank Past the pigs. I am yours. Want to play masters? Oh. It's Two thousand five hundred health on those bad boys. Who's this? Yes, this guy's got less health than the other. Let's go. There's another. Boy. Okay. <laughs> the first one gave a lot of experience, didn't it? These other ones are giving experience. It's the Hydra. Unlimited farm for experience. Eventually, they're going to out damage me. <laughs> Where is this? The untouchable. I'm not getting gold for it. I'm getting experience. Oh, 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 oh. I just like to hear the death noise. The crits come in really handy. Oh yeah, look at the damage I'm taking now. It's starting to get out DPS. Playstorm would be really good, but it's still on cooldown. Starfall's doing the trick. Yeah, you'd think maybe you have to kill them all at the same time, but I don't know, boys. We might just have to... I don't even think you can skip them now. I haven't even got an onk. I'm scared. I don't even know how you get past that. Oh, God. What is happening? I need something to life steal off to get. Oh, what? No, what's he doing? Can they see me? How do you see me? Oof. Oh my god, you're a wisp to observe. Get back then, get back, get back. So, what's the solution to these liches? You have to kite them all the way up and you just have to run past them? I think that's the only way. Unless, yeah, we, you sort of farm them for tons and tons of experience. But, I don't know, you're going to create more of them wherever you kill them. So that's kind of a pickle. Yeah, kill the Boneyard. That's a good idea. Uh, I can use Bladestorm on the Boneyard. I need more healing, though. Don't kill the Liches anymore, because they're just spawning more of them. Like, don't auto-attack them. Just ignore them. They don't do that much damage. Just ignore them. You have to sort of ignore them. You don't have a choice. Overclocked is stuck. 
Oh, he's got hide. Okay, that's good. I did cause this. Yes. Let me try and. If I stand in the middle, hopefully it can hit both. I'm not sure though. Yes, it hits both. Oh my god, look at that damage, it's gonna kill me. Well, I'm I'm observing now, boys. It's time to observe. I can't cancel it once you do win Blade Storm. You can't cancel Blade Storm to come out and win walk. Can't even uh, have the option to kill the boneyard. How are you even gonna reach? Unfortunately, their right-click damage was pretty damn good. Once there's enough of them. Maybe this is the way the map was supposed to be played. There's not much left. Oh, that's not gonna... Your only hope would be to out-level them so much that they didn't even damage you anymore. Does it say it's a win? I don't think it's a win. Oh, there. Just have to get the wisp over there. Is the wisp invulnerable? Oh, no. That's rough. A permadeath is never fun, is it? Because you, you're just out now. So all of that time we spent on this is just rubbish. I don't even know if I want to read. Wisp can't get through, you got no wind walk or nothing. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it then. Interesting mechanic. I thought maybe there'll be an end to the liches, but maybe not. Kill the boneyards first. Yes, let's try that. So I've had to replay the map in single player with the cheats on just to get back to this point. And there it is. The lich did die. It's a shame my character got killed then when he was trying to kill the boneyards. Because if I got those boneyards and then managed to wind walk out, could have slowly killed the liches over time. And then got back into control. But here we are anyway. So let's go through and see the end. Because honestly, there can't be much left. This feels like one of those ones we have to move in the pattern, right? Oh, look at that. It's basically just that. <laughs> and, uh... The win. We were so close to the end. Oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? So close to the end. Sorry about that. Oh, well. And there they are. The Acolytes are happy. All of that just to get to that bit. Oh, my gosh. That truly is jank. That took me 20 minutes to get back to that point. Just so you know. For that last extra 40 seconds that's added on to the YouTube video, it took me 20 minutes to get there.